Yo, what's happening guys? Welcome to your third HTML5 form styling tutorial and in this video we're going to take a look at those checkboxes. Okay, so this is the form so far and in the last tutorial we styled up these radio buttons right here to show our own custom imagery. Now I want to do something similar for these checkboxes right here. So I'm going to use the same image and it's this checks.png which is an image sprite and this time I want these two images at the bottom. So we're going to do something similar but we're just going to change the classes basically, the selectors rather, and the position of those images. So let's come under here, checkbox styles, and the first thing I want to do is grab the inputs with a type of checkbox. So if we go to the HTML you can see these three things here, they all have an input type of checkbox, these things. So again, we can't really style these as they are, so we're going to have to hide them again and show our own imagery instead. So let's go to the CSS and do that. First of all, we'll say input, then use an attribute to, uh, selector to say type equals checkbox. Cool. And we're going to do exactly the same as above. We're going to say opacity is zero. The width is going to be zero also. And the margin is also going to be zero. So let's save that. And now we shouldn't see those checkboxes. And now we've got the same problem. We don't know what we're checking here, what's checked and what is not checked. So let's style up the labels again. So this time what I want to do, in fact I'll just grab this thing right here, I'm going to copy it and paste it down here and just change the names because I'm super lazy. So the first one is label for web, which is this, and you can see I've labeled, uh, I've named these labels right here. So you can see web, Photoshop and Madonna. Okay, so label for web, then it's label for Photoshop, and then we have one more, so I'll just copy that dude and paste it in again, and it's gonna be Madonna. Okay, so the first thing again I wanna do is say display inline hyphen block. Then I'm gonna give it a margin bottom or about 10 pixels. Then I'm gonna give it a padding left of 26 pixels as well to make room for that image. So let's save that and see how it's looking so far. Cool. Okay, then I want to give it that background image. So I'll say background and then it's URL and it's the same image. So that's in the image folder forward slash checks dot PNG and no repeat. So let's save that. Now we see those images and we just need to change the background position of them so that the empty checkboxes, the empty squares if you like. So to do that, I'm going to say background hyphen position, and this time it's going to be zero, and then minus 98 pixels for the Y coordinate. That's going to scoot the image right up so we get the bottom of the image. So let's save that. Cool, there they are. And again, you can see the bottom of these checkboxes are cut off, so we need to change the line height of these labels so it gives it a little bit more room. So I'll say line height, and set it again to 24 pixels. Save that, and now we can see those checkboxes. Cool. And finally, I'm going to say cursor is pointer, just so we get that hand when we hover over them. Awesome. So, same again. If we're clicking these, we still can't see that they're checked. So we need to again look for the checked state of these inputs. And we can do that again using the checked pseudo class right there. So we're going to look for these checked inputs. So I'm going to grab this again, and I'm going to paste this dude down here. Now we're gonna look for the labels which are next to these input fields. So we're gonna say input, then colon, then checked. That's the pseudo class to check for an, uh, a checked input field. Then we're gonna paste these labels after them using the adjacent selector, which is a plus. So now this is looking for the label which comes after a checked input field, all right? So if that exists, it's gonna style it differently. So I'm gonna paste this dude a couple of times down here so we've got one for each one and change this to Photoshop and this one to Madonna and then we're going to style those up again as well. So what do we want to do? We want to change the background position of these things and we'll change that from minus 98 to minus 65 pixels. So that's kind of coming down a little bit. And now we can see those checked things right here. Cool, right? And also we want to set the text to be red just like above as well when it is checked. 
So we'll say color, and then the color was, let's just grab it from up here because I can't remember it. Okay, there it is. And paste it in, save that. And now we have that red color as well when a field is checked. Awesome, and this is working still as well. So there we go, that is how we style up checkboxes and those radio buttons. It's starting to look a lot better now, this form, kind of matches the theme of the website if you like. In the next tutorial, what we're gonna do is carry on and style up this field set right here and the input boxes in there.